we'd like to combine these two fractions into one fraction. So how are we going to do it? Well, if you try to conceptualize it this way, it's a little bit difficult to uh, wrap the ideas around your head, I think. Imagine if you have an eighth of a pizza and a twelfth of a pizza, added those together, and what, what portion of the pizza do you have? It's tough. It's tough to think of. But what we can do is we can think of these two in apples to apples terms. So instead of thinking of um, an eighth and a twelfth, what I'm going to realize is that both of these guys divide into 24. So instead of thinking of this as 1 eighth, I could think of it as just multiplying by a fancy version of 1. I could think of this as 3 over 24. I could think of this as 2 over 24. Again, 1 12th is 2 over 24. 1 eighth is 3 over 24. And now we can conceptualize it. You've got 24 pieces of pizza total. It's a big pizza or thinly cut. And when we add those two portions of the pizza, we have 5 24ths total. So how did I come up with that number 24? Well, 24 is the least common denominator. It's the smallest number that both 8 and 12 divide into. Now, some of you might be saying, oh, come on, I did this in kindergarten or seventh grade, or I've done this before. I can do that sort of thing in my head. Why do, I, uh, why do you need to start talking about a process? Well, we're going to talk about how we came up with the 24 in a very specific way because I'm not actually that much interested in having you add fractions. I'm interested in having you add things that look like this. These are known as, uh, this is a rational expression, and this is just a high-tech version of this. So we're going to come up with a method by which we can come up with the least common denominator in this case or in this case. So how do we do that? Well, the method that we're going to follow is as follows. We're first going to factor each of those guys into its smallest components, the smallest components being um, the prime numbers which multiply together to give us that number. 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. So we want the smallest number that these guys divide into. Well, for it to divide, uh, for 8 to divide into this number that we haven't thought of yet, it's going to be 24, for 8 to divide into it, that number better have these factors. For 12 to divide into it, it needs two twos, got them, and it also needs a factor of 3. Right? 2 times 2 times 2 divides into this guy 3 times. 2 times 2 times 3 divides into it 2 times. What is this number? 24. So the process we're going to follow to find the least common denominator, the smallest number that um, those both can divide into, is we're first going to factor them. First going to factor them, which we did here. And then we're going to find the, the smallest um, possible number that will work for those given factors. 